Hi, I am Bart Janssens from the Royal Military Academy and I'll be presenting a way to build your own uh, multi-user Jupyter and Pluto server. Um, I've put some tutorial files on my GitHub on the address that you can see here on the slide. So let's take a quick look at the objective of the project, which is to have a server where we can log in, get access to the normal Jupyter Lab interface with the button to start Pluto. And then we can get our standard Pluto notebook, sped up my typing here a little bit, but the waiting time is real time. So using a custom sys image, we get a fast responsive Pluto. The system consists of three layers with the Nginx web server handling the public side, Jupyter Hub launching different Docker images and each Docker image running for one user, the single user servers. Configuration steps represent this layered model where we will focus here on the Docker configuration because that requires the most customization. Server setup and Jupyter Hub configuration basically require installing some packages and copying over some config files. So I will skip over these very quickly here. Most of the configuration happens in the Docker image which will run the single user Jupyter server. And so the first two steps are to install some basic packages using apt-get and to install Julia, which is downloaded from the standard Julia download servers. And where it gets interesting is when we have to install packages and install a custom sys image. So I'm using a project and manifest toml file, which allows us to specify which packages come pre-installed on the server. Uh, upon image generation, uh, these packages are installed using a small Julia script that basically instantiates and updates the, the packages from the manifest. We then use package compiler to install some packages and pre-compiled statements into a custom sys image. Finally, to install Pluto, there is a Pluto on Jupyter Lab project which we can pull in from Git from within the Docker file and install. It's important here to remember to install the lab extension for the server proxy, which allows us to get the Pluto button in the interface on the um, Jupyter Lab um, website. And that's it. So this uh, shows you how to get for the user at least zero effort access to Julia with the choice between different programming languages and with uh, lots of options for customization of your own installation. Thank you for your attention.